Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World, and a lot of you saw this week, if you didn't see it, you should have seen it, uh, attorney Willie Gary has has pulled off one of the great legal feats of all time. Uh, he just won a $23.6 billion, billion with a B, dollar lawsuit against uh, R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company uh, on behalf of Cynthia Robinson, whose husband died of lung cancer in 1996. Um, you know, from what I know about these suits, these suits are very difficult to win because tobacco companies have been fighting them for decades. Uh, because it, when one of them gets one, that means others may may come, and it, there's an avalanche effect. And right. uh, and I'm so impressed with what he's done. And I wanted to get more perspective on this, so I reached out to uh, to my my respected colleague, uh, Mr. Demario Solomon Simmons, who is a, a successful attorney out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. How you doing today, Demario? I'm doing great, Dr. Boyce. As always, it's good to see you and be on your show. Absolutely, man. Well, you know, you 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 you've met Willie Gary, um, yes. and and you know more about him than I do. Uh, I I'm not so intrigued as much with the lawsuit, which which I think is an amazing feat. But I'm I'm really just intrigued with with this great legal mind and the his accomplishments. Uh, tell me what you know about Attorney Gary. You know, I've had the opportunity to meet uh, Mr. Gary on several occasions uh, during law school. I was actually able to work kind of not real close with him, but I was part of an organization called the RCC or the Corporations Coordinating Committee, which included Willie Gary, Johnny Cochran, uh, one of my mentors, Professor Charles Overtree at Harvard University. Oh, I know, and that organization, I know Charles. He's a great guy. Keep, oh, man. Great, absolutely. Absolutely. Great guy. And that organization, we were working on the 1921 Tulsa race riot litigation, trying to get reparations for what happened in uh, Tulsa, my hometown. Uh, when Greenwood or Black Wall Street was burnt to the ground. And obviously, I knew who Willie Gray was at that time. He was a big guy. He'd already had hit several multi, multi, tens of millions of dollars verdicts against some of the largest corporations in America, like Disney, like Amherst and Bush. He's known as the Giant Slayer. But what I really respected about him, he was so humble. He was so down to earth. And he was so interested in, 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 in spending time with me and spending time with all law students and young lawyers and telling us Number one, that we could be successful. And more important, just telling us that, but was willing to forgive us time and effort to tell us how to be successful. One time, Dr. Boyce um, went to a National Black Law Student Association conference in Denver, Colorado. I think it was 2005. And Willie Gary was there. And he did a, he did a, a workshop on how to do a closing argument. And I swear to you, even though we knew this was a workshop, we knew this was a seminar, we knew it was fake, Willie Gary was so so persuasive that we stood up and we wanted to just do anything he had to say because it was just so powerful. And one thing I always remember that he says, and he says this all the time, you have to ask for the money. You ask the jury what you want them to pay me. You don't leave it up to them. So I know that Willie Gary went into that courtroom and I know at the end of that closing argument, he told that jury, give me $23 billion. And they listen to him. Mm. I love that man. I tell you this. Wow! If if the glove don't fit, you must pay me twenty three billion dollars. <laughs> I, I like that. I like the way that rhymes. That oh really man! Good. I wish I could have been just. I mean, just a paralegal, a secretary, a bailiff on that case. Oh my god! Well, you know, I, I'll tell you what's uh, always impressed me about Willie Gary, um, and I've known about him for years. I never met him, but what's always impressed me is is I always look at the core of a man. You know, I, I don't care how much money you have or how famous you are. Uh, my question is, what kind of black man are you? You know, and when I look at Willie Gary, I see a guy who came from very humble beginnings. Right. Uh, I remember his story, you know, at Shaw University, which he has done amazing things for that school uh, since he graduated. Uh, he has he, he, he just really showed uh, what happens when you are truly dedicated to your purpose in life. And um, I like I like the fact that he gives back. Uh, he's, he's reaching back to help young attorneys the way Charles Ogletree does. I, I I spoke at the National Black Law Student Association. I was a keynote one year. I think it was 2006, 2007, maybe 2008. About the time Kwame Kwame Kilpatrick went down because I remember it was in Detroit, and uh, I remember Charles just really being sort of a father figure to these young attorneys. And I know Willie is 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 in that same tradition and, and that's what i just respect i mean this seems like a guy and you could tell me uh what you know about this but he seems like a person who isn't just saying look i'm trying to get rich for myself i'm trying to really make the world a better place in the process is that the impression you have of him oh it's not only the impression it's the fact it's what i know and it's one of the reasons why i so love and respect many really good also i mean 
I saw him last year at the National Bar Association Conference, uh, just hanging out in the, in the lobby, just just so accessible, so touchable. Um, and he's always giving back. I mean, he gives back not hundreds and hundreds and, and thousands of dollars and, and million dollar gifts, like you said, with Charles University. I use Willie Gary, you know, I, I direct a program here in Oklahoma, it's the largest legal diversity program in Oklahoma, it's called a Pipeline Project. And what we do, we take uh, high school kids, uh, uh, black and brown high school kids, and we talk to them and we, we program them to get them interested in becoming lawyers. And one of the things that I always talk to them about is that being a lawyer can make you wealthy, not just uh, from a physical wealth, you know, uh, financial wealth, but it make you wealthy as a person because it gives you opportunities. And one of the people that I always utilize, and a video I always show is this video about Willie Gary, and it talks about his humble beginnings. It talks about him growing up in a sharecropper community in Florida. It talks about the fact that they didn't think he could go to college. He talks about the fact when he graduated law school, he couldn't get a job with anyone. And he was cutting yards while he was still practicing law so he can take care of his family. And his first case, or one of his very first cases, was an a, 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 a elderly, a poor black woman who believed in him. And together they went and they won a multi-million dollar lawsuit. And he continued this to today. He continued that to today. To today. And that's why I so want to respect Willie Gary. That's why I utilize him on my program because I want to tell my kids, you don't have to be a rapper. You don't have to be an athlete to be successful, to make money and make a difference. And those are the things that Willie Gary stands for, being successful, making money and making a difference. And I think we all can respect that. There you go. And, I, and I'll say that education, you and I agree on this, education is, uh, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's a very special kind of wealth that really goes far beyond what somebody puts in your bank account. Oh, no doubt. You know, um, I, you know, I, I, and, and I'll say that, you know, you, you read every day about some, you know, an, an athlete signing a 10, 30, $40 million contract or, or some rapper getting a 10, $20 million deal or whatever it is. But th- but this particular uh, achievement by Willie really stood out to me, not just because, I mean, the amount was like, whoa, I've never seen anything like that really, but also, right. but also, because you know that the money is going to go toward this wealth is being built by a man and by an, an organization that is connected to the black community, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's that's what separates him from a Jay Z. God bless Jay Z. You know, he does his thing. He does what he does. You know, I, I don't dislike him. You know, for, for any reason other than some of the obvious things that I've said. But in general, though, you know, you know that when you talk about some. African Americans who become financially successful, there's a disconnect. It's sort of like, well, I've got mine. I don't care about the rest of y'all. You know, with Dr. Dre, he gets a billion dollar deal with Apple. It's like, okay, this is nice, but you know, whatever. You know, black people aren't really going to feel that directly. Whereas I feel like with Willie Gary, I feel like there's going to be an HBCU or two that's really going to benefit. There's going to be a black organization or two that's going to benefit. There are going to be scores of young black attorneys that are going to benefit. I mean, you're talking about a truly transformative uh, set of achievements here. Uh, what is your take on that? Yeah, well, my take is, and I, I I can't speak to uh, Jay Z or Dr. Dre, uh, but I don't know enough about their, their dealings. But I can speak very uh, passionately and comfortably to Willie Gary. I mean, he's a great father. He's a family man. He's married, and I do believe, and and with the bottom of my heart, that his 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 connection is evident in our community. He will provide financial resources within our community. And more than that, I think he continues to provide inspiration uh, to even young lawyers like myself. I mean, I'm 10 years in. He's been practicing for 30 years. And think about it is he works. He works hard. He puts in the hours. He puts in the 14, the 16, the 18 hour days. I mean, so it's not just coming out the air that boom, you walk on the court and then all of a sudden you beat Anheuser Bush, that you beat RJ Reynolds, that you beat Disney. These are the biggest corporations in America, in the world. He put in the time, he put in the effort, he put in the expertise. That alone makes him significant. And then they had to pay off to have that type of uh, financial successful victory. It just really speaks to what it can, what you can do when you line up your passion and you line up your education and you line up your skill set and you be focused. And I think that's something that really very provides to all of us in our community, particularly for young lawyers and for young people. And I'm just so happy for him and I'm happy for our community. To know that we, he clearly is someone that we created from our community, and he's someone that gives back and completely loved our community. 
Well, I love it. Well, everybody who's watching, uh, tell you, tell your sons and your daughters that, look, if you're not tall enough and athletic enough to be a LeBron James, it's just as good or actually better to be a Willie Gary. And oh, that's, that's absolutely that's accessible absolutely. to all of us. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. Uh, I'm okay. sorry. Go ahead. No, no, please. No, I'm just gonna say, and, and that, that you know, as you know, I'm writing a book. What's Plan B? How to post sports laws is destroying Black America. And that's the whole thing right there. Too many of our kids, particularly our young men, they think they got to dribble basketball or uh, tackle somebody or go on a rapping to be successful, to get quote-unquote mama out the hood. That is a fallacy. That is a lie. We can utilize our intellectual powers. We can be lawyers. We can be doctors. We can be Dr. Watkins. We can be the Mario Solomon Simmons if you're five foot two or seven foot two. And that's what we must get across to our young men and women. And that's what really, very, really, really is a great example of. Absolutely. Well, he said it best. Well, everybody, this is Demario Solomon Simmons. You can learn more about Demario at SolomonSimmons.com. That's his website, SolomonSimmons.com. You don't need to learn more about me. You might already know a few things about me. But if you want to know a little bit more, you can go visit us at YourBlackWorld.net. And also, I do have a a personal website, BoyceWatkins.com, in case you ever want to visit. But I'd rather see you go to SolomonSimmons.com. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Demario. I appreciate your time. Oh, Dr. Boris, as always, it's great to see you, and it's great to be on your show. Thanks a lot. Oh, absolutely, my friend. And uh, everybody who's watching, thank you for checking us out at Your Black World. And until we meet again, please stay strong, be blessed, and be educated. We are gone. Peace.